9 years of age to 14 year olds and this is your prodigy that graduated from running that club track Dylan Capwell who took the silver medal indoors at the NCAAs at 800 meters from Monmouth University great job by Capwell running with these big big dogs he can do what they can do just outside him in lane 5 Jesse Garn the junior from Binghamton has a personal best of 147.03 that should make Shaquille Walker feel a little bit better about his chances on the bubble in that third position from heat number one at 146.24. These guys would really have to run well under their lifetime bests to knock him out. Garn is a strong 1,500 meter runner, got good strength late in the race. They've had very successful programs at the State University of New York at Binghamton for years. Also, Andres Arroyo, the Florida sophomore out in lane six, will also contend. And a lot of good competition in the SEC throughout this season. And right now it's Joseph White, the Georgetown freshman, who seems the most aggressive, and then he just kind of drops back. This is going to be interesting. All these guys crowding in even for the pole. Simon Greiner, the junior from Tulsa, is in there. Is Arroyo taking the lead. He was one of the country's best 800 meter runners in high school just a couple of years ago, just a sophomore at Florida. So it's Arroyo followed by Hernandez of AM. So it's 1 2 SEC up front. Arroyo is a Puerto Rico's national indoor record holder. Grew up in, in Florida. Dylan Capwell in good position. 53 three for the 400 meters kind of easy striding almost semi-casual here let's see what they can turn in so it's Arroyo then Capwell then a gap back to Hernandez so these right now if they finish with either automatic qualifiers there goes Capwell he's about to try to make a move on Arroyo and probably less affected by that headwind that is blowing down the back stretch 120.4 at 600 meters unofficially for Capwell. And Jesse Garn now in the picture as Hernandez continues to fade. It is Capwell followed by Arroyo and then Garn who is full of run. Arroyo dropping back wants desperately to make this final for Florida for the points. And is he going to beat out Capwell for that second spot? Yes, he is. And that might knock Capwell out of the final because that was a much slower heat. Not a chance that the third placer will qualify through from this heat. So Capwell, the sophomore from Monmouth, gets a little bit of a lesson here at the NCAA championships in the semifinals. You've got to be in the top two unless it's a barn burner of a heat. Well, we talked about strength and 1,500 meter speed and strength helps late in an 800 meter race. It's like a 400 meter runner being strong late in a 200 meter race. And it's easily guard and Capwell just can't overcome that one or two foot margin all through the last 100 meters of that race. So it is Garn who wins the heat at 147.68. Andres Arroyo stays in there for Florida. Dylan Capwell will watch the final from the stands. We will have more of these 800-meter semifinals when we come back to Eugene, Oregon, for more of our coverage of these great NCAA outdoor track and field championships.